Hey guys, it's Creepington, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your first Minecraft mod for 1.12. The first thing you want to do is download the program linked in the description below. The first program is going to be Source Tree. This is a Git repository management software or client that will help you manage and share your code with others to be able to troubleshoot things and, and, and store your code online for, other, for use in other computers. Now, you can download Source Tree in the link in the description, and I'm gonna, I've am already got it installed. Then you also want to go to um, IntelliJ IDEA, the link in the description as well. And you want to download the Community Edition for your platform, which I've already got installed and I accidentally downloaded it. You got that installed. Then you want to download the JDK8, and you have to create an account if you haven't already. But make sure you download the one for your platform, so in this case I'm going to download this one for my Windows platform and you make you create an account or sign in so that's kind of annoying but um yeah so once you've done that you're also going to want to download Minecraft Forge which is for, for my Minecraft version is 1.12.2 and then you select latest MDK and then I'll download next you're going to want to open source tree you want to click File, clone new. Actually, no, you're gonna go to create and browse to a new folder called mods, or whatever you wanna call your mods folder. Then in that folder, you wanna create, you wanna select, um, you wanna enter a tutorial mods here, so you can create the folder. Oh, 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 see, I messed up. You're gonna want to create a folder called tutorial mod and select that as the folder. Then you can click um, create and click yes. Then you're going to want to <laughs> extract the file from the Forge MDK zip folder and I recommend installing WinRAR on Windows to extract the zip folder but it's not necessary. And this is this program right here. And you're going to go into want to extract that into the tutorial mod folder that you've created track out all the con content into that and then you got that next we're going to want to open uh, IntelliJ idea and you want to actually yeah and you're going to want to click uh, file new project from existing sources and you're going to select where you put the um, the mod folder that you created so I'm going to find it here document mod Tutorial mod. And not, you don't want to select a folder, you want to select inside called, the file called build.gradle. This is going to help you set up your project later. And then you want to click whatever option you want here. I recommend this window. And then uh, for some reason you want to do this, I don't know why it's doing this, but you just click this button, which upgrade gradle wrapper. And I don't know why it's doing all this stuff. Okay, there we go. Uh, sorry guys. That's, that's my fault. Um, so once you've done that, and it'll uh, it'll it'll show up here, and then you want to uh, you want to go up here on this side where it says Gradle. If you don't have that, you can type go to uh, you can go to View Tool Window Gradle, and then it'll put up here. And I'm just gonna um, and then your tutorial module should be there. If not, that's a problem, and you've done something wrong. But um. Then you want to go to the task under the tutorial mod, or whatever mod you called it. And then you want to go to Forge Gradle and set up decomp workspace. This might take a while. So, if anything goes wrong, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to help as, as soon as possible. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to let this do a thing right now and I'll come back when it's done. Hey guys, we're back. And um, if it says build successful, it means it worked. So now let's continue. So now you want to um, you want to do the next step, which is actually get coding. Now you're gonna go to uh, source main Java, and you're gonna you can delete all the example packages, and you're gonna click new uh, f uh, directory. No wait, what? I, I think something's wrong. Oh, try this. I'm gonna click this button. Maybe I'll fix it. There we go. 
So you click this button on under your project, this little uh, refresh button, and it re-imports the project, and that will fix the issue that was happening. Now, click under Java, right click it, and click New, Package. And this can be like your identifier for your company or your name. So in this case, I'll just put me dot creep in. Like, for example, it could be com dot creep uh, creepinson company com dot company dot mod. So I'm just gonna do me dot creepinson dot tutorial mod like this. And yeah, now we're gonna set up the mod, which is the next step. And that and and you can right click tutorial mod or the package. And click new Java class, and we're gonna type in um, main mod. I'm gonna call it main mod, and this is a class. And then, uh, sure, just click add. Okay. So now in main mod, you want to uh, above the public class, you want to add at mod, and then it it says, I mean, and actually, yeah, mod ID equals main mod, no, reference, no, mod util dot mod id, and then we're gonna, where it says, where it says mod util is not, which is, uh, in red, but, uh, click all enter, or right click, or like, or just hover over it, and click create class, and it's in tutorial mod dot util, and then, okay, and there we go. So we have the util, which is mod util. There we go. In mod util, you're gonna go. You're gonna create a. You're gonna type in public static uh, a string mod id equal, and this is gonna be your mod like identifier, and it can't contain spaces, can't contain capital. We're gonna need to type in like underscores and stuff. So in this case, I'm gonna type twelve underscore mod. Next, you want to type in public static, uh, no, actually it should be final, public static final, string, mod name, equal, and this kid is contains spaces. The mod ID cannot contain spaces, but the name can. So the, the, um, the, the mod name can be tutorial mod, there, like that. And then you want to finish it with a semicolon. Public static final string mod ver version equal. Uh, I'm gonna put in uh, quotation marks 1.0.0. Next, go back to main mod and then see it works. Now, comma, so mod ID equal mod util of mod ID and it should be uh, v version equal mod util dot mod version comma um I think it's what is it uh name equal mod utils dot mod name there you go there's the uh, basic mod at mod part now next thing you want to do is um is do this you're gonna want to do at event handler or at mod event handler, uh, public. Oh, by the way, I'm importing everything here. And in in uh, IntelliJ, if you don't have automatic imports, you have to go in here and, and where it's thread, like here, you would type all enter and then add import to whatever. But I have uh, automatic import enabled within settings, which makes it so that it automatically imports everything for you, like so. So, anyways. Public static, no wait, no, public void, public void, uh, pre init, and then you can do like so. And then in pre init, we're gonna, do, we're gonna type, uh, in this part, we're gonna type in, uh, fml, wait, no, yeah, pre initialization event, event. And then in here, we're gonna type in event, uh, no. The logger equals event dot get mod log. Logger, we're gonna um oh, oh god, we're gonna do uh create local variable no, 
create a field logger. And this is going to be uh, public, no, public, static, public, static, like no, the public, static, yeah, public static logger. And then, actually no, we're going to do private static logger. And then, you're going to want to do, go like this, enter public static logger get logger and then this is going to return logger like so and then we're also going to want to copy and paste this to print it and then we're going to want to change the uh, print it in the second one to in it in it and then it print it to in it and then you can just delete this then we're going to go at mod event hand uh, mod event handler public void post in it fml post initialization event event and then here we can just leave it empty and that's the finished part now for the rest of it we're gonna add a few more things we're gonna go uh, type in up here be before the log or after the log part up here we're gonna add her uh, at mod.instant and public static uh, main mod instance no instance and there we go instant like that and this is what you and the next thing we do is you're gonna go at mod dot no at cited proxy um and this is the next thing uh <laughs> Client side equals mod util dot client underscore no, client proxy, and then server side equals mod util dot server proxy. Now, what you want to do is you want to uh, the create the the field here in mod utils. So same thing before public static final. Uh, string client proxy equals and this is where it's gonna get me dot creepington dot tutorial mod dot it's a package so where you tell dot proxy is where I'm storing it so I'm gonna create a new package in you tell like so and I'm gonna call it proxy and here we want to click new cl uh, create a new class in the proxy you tell dot proxy and you want to name it uh, common proxy and then, sure, uh, and then we're going to get another one called client proxy. Client, in client proxy, make, <laughs> extend a uh, common proxy, like so. And then in the mod usual, we're going to get the client proxy. Yeah. Meet up creation that you saw, or whatever it's, your uh, package is, for the proxy, and then dot, uh, Client proxy, client proxy, like so, or whatever you named it. In this, like this part here, it's a package, so this would be there, 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 you know. And then this one is gonna be server proxy. Need that creeping? Oh no, dot common proxy instead. And this is gonna, and then you go here back to main mod, and it's the error to gone. And this. Oh, and I forgot to add one more thing. Under side proxy, you're directly under it. Enter public static. Uh, no. Public. Public. I think it's public. Uh, not public static. Public. Common proxy. Proxy. Actually, should it be static? I think it's static. Okay, I'm just going to put static. Public static. Common proxy. Proxy. There we go. And that should be the first beginning of the mod. Now, uh, to make this run, you can go to Forge Gradle and run client, or you can go edit configurations up here and then and right here and run in this part. And go to plus button for add application main class. We're going to type in actually module class, right here as. To whatever your mod called or your module, to tutorial mod and 
uh, dot main and main class is going to be gradle start and then uh, yeah and then you're working directory slash run at the end here slash or backslash slash run and then uh, then we want to okay you know, actually, and then yeah we're gonna have to create the, the folder run then we want to uh, actually wait yeah I think that's right and then yeah so then we can name it uh, tutorial mod now we click apply and we have to go here tutorial mod new directory run there we go and then next thing you want to do is you want to go to uh, up here where we have tutorial mod and you click run and if this if you did it correctly and if I did it correctly it should have uh, worked so you're gonna wait for it to load and you can sign in with an account but I'm not going to um, it, for, for now by default it'll um, sign in with a like player blah blah name and it's just setting you to play 685 again, but it'll be random each time. So for now, uh, if we open it and it runs correctly, what we should see... Oh, I forgot something, didn't I? I don't know. And here, in this file, in resources, and not Java, in resources, you want to go to mcmod.info, and there's the same information here. Minecraft, shut up. <laughs> same information here. Likes mod util, so tutorial underscore mod. Uh, you get the rest of it, like uh, author Creepington. And this is, and this is a file just so, so you can see. It's a um, empty mod info. It's the name of it and resources. And yeah. then you want to name, call them the same the mod tutorial mod or whatever you want to call it. Description whatever. A tutorial mod mod version yeah I think that'll work and then you want to uh, review in Minecraft to to fit to restart the yeah fresh changes if this works correctly we should have our first mod now this does not add anything yet it's just the beginning of the mod and the next episode we'll be um, creating our first items and blocks so yeah uh. And then go to uh, mods uh, here and uh, right here, and then you want to select toy mod and see if there it is. And I apparently just didn't say mod information for some reason it bugged out, but yeah, uh, uh, we'll fix that later. And then uh, you see here, and then um, there you go. So we have a first mod. It works. If you see it as a mod section, you know it works. If not, you can let me down in the comments below to try to help you as soon as possible as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching, sorry if it's a crappy tutorial, and uh, see you guys later in the next video. Bye!